In this video, we're going to look at 10 essential keyboard hacks to help you operate more effectively in a Windows environment. Okay, let's get started. Number 10. Number 10 is Shift F3. Shift F3 toggles between uppercase, title case, and lowercase. So in a Word document, if you double click a word, it highlights it. If you treble click, it highlights the whole paragraph. Once you've got something highlighted, then you can use Shift F3 to toggle between uppercase, title case, and lowercase. I'm going to have this title in title case. So there it is. And in title case, prepositions are in lowercase. So I'll just change that one with Shift F3. Very useful. Number nine. Number nine is Control Z. Now Control Z is just a shortcut for undo, but it's also a lifesaver and I'll tell you why. So you probably know that in a Word document, if you make some mistakes, then you can use Control Z or undo to put them right again. But the reason why it's a lifesaver is that it also works in Windows Explorer. So let's imagine that you've accidentally deleted some files. Well, even though there is no undo option, Control Z still works. And after you've deleted the files, if you press Control Z, it brings them back. And that's why it's a life save. Number 8. Number eight is Control Shift T, and this reopens the last tab on a browser. Let's make up a scenario. Let's imagine you're doing your maths homework, but you're just intrigued about how to grow marijuana. So you're having a little read about how to do that. And then you hear somebody coming up the stairs, so you close that tab. When they've gone, you can press Control Shift T and it brings back that tab. Just bear in mind, they can do that as well. Number seven. Number seven is Alt plus a number. This number inserts the degree symbol, but different numbers do different things. For example, Alt-1 inserts a smiley face. So how this works is you hold down the Alt key and then on your numeric pad with number lock on, you put in the code. And as you lift the Alt key, it puts in the symbol. Very useful. Number six. Number six is Windows D. And this just toggles between minimizing everything and opening everything. Very quick way of getting to your desktop. Think of it as Windows Desktop. Number five. Number five is Windows E, and this opens Explorer, and it's useful for moving files. Of course, Windows Explorer is useful for finding files, but the reason why it's good for moving files is that if you press it again, it opens up another window and it allows you to drag and drop between the two locations with ease. Number four. Number four is understanding the difference between shift click and control click. And this helps with selecting multiple items. So let's just move to Excel for this one. If you click and then shift click, it's like to from. So click, shift click, to from. Let's just clear that selection. But if you click and then control click, it's not to from, it adds them. And then you can do whatever you want with those files, delete them or copy them. So in this example, we've copied them. Understanding the difference between shift click and control click is very important for operating in Windows. Number three. Alt 
mouse drag. This disables what we call the placement assistant. So let's imagine you're trying to move a picture around. And Windows is helping you, but it's not helping you because it's just giving you options that you don't want because it's trying to help. Well, if you hold down the Alt key when you do that dragging, then that disables and you can put your item wherever you want it. Number two. Number two is quite a technical one. Control shift right click, copy as path. Let me show you what I mean. So if you select some files and then control shift right click, it gives you the option copy as path. And that gives you all of the file names on your clipboard, which you can then paste in. It saves you having to type them all out. So highlight the ones you want, control shift, right click, copy as path. And this brings us on to our number one. Well, it's not as technical as the last one, but it's a classic. Control C, control X and control V. Three consecutive keys on the keyboard. These are of course, copy, cut and paste. These are used all the time in a Windows environment. You can remember copy because it's the same letter. You can remember cut because it looks like a pair of scissors. And you can remember V because it's the arrowhead of where you're going to put the text. Using these on your keyboard will save you stacks of time. And that's why it's our number one.